Why they do a lot, but they should coordinate with the neighboring cities in order to form a network and to make sure that, that they have a common uh, approach and concept for multi-polar, multi-centric uh, transport planning, much more efficient than other options. Next. And next year, we will talk about marketing and implementation. I, I think I, I made the point quite clear that implementation, the, the bottom up, the inductive movement is very important. And that entails uh, other criteria and uh, challenges which are very well known to our commercial colleagues from the marketing department. And there are those seven P's of marketing, and I call them seven P's of innovation as well. And they are the seven P's of sustainable uh, urban mobility. You cannot get change uh, in the field. You cannot convince people to, to adopt new good practices and make new good practices strive if you don't do proper marketing. So these seven P's are very important. Time is up, so we will not go into the details, but maybe in the discussion we can touch on some. Next. And so, to conclude, I already have brought a copy of your, uh, of your Sustainable Urban Mobility Master Plan uh, for the next, well, until 2040. And it's all described here, but of course don't publish it because it's a quote, it's a quote from, from Singapore. But if you look at the high-level description of the Singapore Master Plan, you can do exactly the same in General Santos and in Colombo. It's the same ingredients. Of course, the homework that Singapore has done was some infrastructure, this and that. The scale, things are different. But the approach is the same for the same kind of challenge, for the same people who want to strive in an agreeable environment. That's it. Yes, we can go into more details. Thank you very much for your patience and attention.